didn't know about this too much. Not many people do. We're going to go through five ways in which you can make your Garmin R10 as accurate as possible. We've also got a bonus tip, guys, which not many people know about. Let's get into it. So when you take this out of the box, put it together, I don't know if you notice, I've got my fingerprints all over that. And you've got to treat it like a camera lens. If it's not clear, it's not going to pick up a very good image, is it? So, wipe it first, guys. Now that your sensor's clean, guys, you're going to need one of these good old trusty Stanley. We are going to measure precisely eight feet away. Now, even though the app says between six and eight, eight is going to give you the best results. Trust us. So you've got the ball set up where you want to be hitting from. Most people do this and count roughly six to seven feet. It's not good enough, guys. You need one of these to get it right. Now that we've got this eight feet away, guys, we've also used this tape measure as a kind of alignment stick. By having the tape measure on the edge of the back of the stand, the ball, as long as it's on the other side of that tape measure, it'll be in line with the garment. There is an additional stand you can buy for the Garmin R10, which people 3D print, where you can adjust the height. It has a laser built in some of them and also an alignment stick feature to align the ball as well. We do recommend you buy one to get the best accuracy. Today's video is brought to you in association with Golf Online, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the equipment featured in today's video. Find the link to Golf Online's website in the description below and check out some incredible deals and offers. Tip number two guys, make sure you're running the latest firmware. So when you connect your phone to the Garmin R10, it should automatically update the firmware. If it doesn't, or you're not sure if it has, get yourself onto the website on your PC and you can download it from there. Tip number three guys, it's the easiest one to forget and the easiest one to do, it's calibration. Once you're on your Garmin R10 app, you wanna go on to more, click on Garmin devices, find your R10 device calibration and it's simple as press calibrate this can take a few minutes to do but it's something that you have to do guys this will definitely improve your results and data as you can see it's already done and just click done tip number four guys what you want to do is make sure your Garmin R10 is the same height as the mat or wherever you're teeing off from if you're taking this to the driving range more than likely that mat is going to sit probably an inch or so higher. You see down here, just for testing sake, it sits quite a lot lower. So what you need to do is raise that up so that it's the same height as the ball. Now you can do this using a book or what Jay was going on about earlier, the laser alignment. I think that does give you a bit of height, but it needs to be the same height as that ball. Tip number five, guys. This might be one that you've not heard before, but use clean balls. If you start using one of these full of mud, this is going to affect your data. What you want to be doing is using a nice clean ball if you've got them. Also, if you're at the range and you have the distinctive lines going around, try and use it on the clearest face as well. At the end of the day, who wants to play with dirty balls anyway? Just remember guys that the Garmin R10 will give you better readings outside as well. That was five tips on how you can improve the accuracy on your Garmin R10. Make sure you do all those tips guys and I guarantee you, you will see the results. Bonus tip. Not many people know about this one. It's worked for us. Let us know if it's going to work for you. I didn't know about this till you mentioned it. Not many people do. If any of you have been using the Garmin app, which most of you will, there's also another app. Now this is called Awesome Golf. And it is awesome. Awesome Golf Simulator app. Download it and link your Garmin to that and you will find that the numbers are even more accurate for some reason. Yeah, let us know in the comments section if you are using this app or you've tried it. Let us know how you're getting on with it. If you haven't already bought the Garmin R10, you're thinking about buying it, check out the link in the description. Yep, Golf Online, they have some fantastic deals. They've also got 0% finance, guys, so there's no excuse not to dip in. That's right. If you'd really like to help the channel, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, guys, click that subscribe button. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then, guys.